Hi, and welcome to the making of a solar power race car. You need a wood base, a solar cell, a motor, a gear set, a straw, metal axles, wheels, washers, and an instruction sheet. Now measure eight inches by one and a half inches on the wood base and cut it. Do and do this twice. And save this piece and glue these two pieces together. And sand it. Measure, measure the straw and cut it a little bit shorter than the axle. And then insert the axle into the wheel and hammer. So put a washer and then a straw and then put the second wheel on and hammer it in. Repeat these things. Measure three fourths of an inch and draw a straight line across. A carefully apply a line of hot glue along the line and place the wheel straight so the car would go forward. In a straight line. In a straight line. Repeat these steps. Take this small gear and put it on the motor thing. The next step is to take one of the wheels off and put a rear axle gear onto the axle. Put the washer on and then put the wheel back on and hammer it. Next, put your axle back on the car and hammer the second wheel on. Line up the gear with the motor with the back wheels and glue it. Next, make a tower for your solar panel to rest on. Okay. So I'm going to glue these two pieces of our extra wood together. And then we're going to glue it to the car. And tape the solar panel to your tower. Adjust however you want. If there's no sun, unplug these two wires and plug in the battery pack that comes with the solar panel and make sure it's, it's only touching the wire part, not the rubber. And then to put the battery in. If there's no sun outside, you're going to use the battery pack that came with the solar panel and you're going to wrap the wires around each other for the motor to the battery pack and make sure they're touching. And then you're going to do the same thing for the other side. And then to put the battery in, 
you line up the plus side of the battery with the minus side and so they'll have a plus sign on it and then the plus side in there so and that's fine. when the wires are connected red to black it goes the car goes backwards but if you connect them red and red to black to black then it goes forward